Okay, teacher Fiona, we are live and ready to start as soon as you are. Teacher Hello, every perfect, not a problem. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome to the STEM Lockdown Digital School and welcome to the Grade 3 English Home Language Lesson. Today is a language lesson in tenses. I'm so glad that you have joined. I am Teacher Fiona and I am your Grade 3 um, Home Language Teacher. I'm just seeing what my mouse is up to. Right now, what I'm wondering, did you do your homework last night? Did you do your homework? I'm writing hello in the chat box. So last night, you had to do some of these multiple choice questions. And I wonder if you did those for homework. If you wonder where your homework is, you go onto the Africa Teen Geeks website. Look for your grade, grade three home language. Click on it and you'll see a link to the homework. Okay, right, so I hope that you did do the homework. Good, we're going to, um, we're going to look at something to do with that homework just now, but let me tell you what we'll do today. First of all, we're going to just review what that homework was about, the multiple choice questions. We did those yesterday. Then we are going to learn about tenses. You know tenses, present, past, and future tense. After that, we are going to make up some sentences. We're going to create some sentences in the present, the past, and the future tense. And we're going to read our story again with expression. I'm going to ask different people if they would like to read it. Okay, so we've got a, a lot of things we're going to do. Now, I am going to ask people every now and then to put up their hands, but you're always welcome to write in the chat box. Okay, I see Kogomotsoi. Oh, I struggle to pronounce some of these lovely names, has said hello. So that's wonderful. I love it when you write in the chat box. All right, now let's look at what we did yesterday and what uh, you did some of these for homework. So I'm going to ask you now to put up your hands if you would like to um, help me find the right answer for that statement. Who would like to put up their hands so that I can unmute them? So we're going to just have a quick practice of our um, Okay, I see that lean. So lean, I'm going to click on something that says ask to unmute and you have to say yes or something like that. Okay. Where's lean gone? Right. Okay, lean's hand is. Okay, Kuliswa, I'm going to click on ask to Unmute, and then you've got to do something. You've got to say okay or something. Okay. Ah, ah Haliswa. Hello. All Hello. Right. So here's our sentence. You want to read the se You want to read it to us? Yes, please. Okay. Read it. He was he was playing with his friends in the woods. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's start at the beginning. So you've got the right answer, but let's do it like this. Which sentence has information about the story setting? Okay, so you've got to read that first. Then you've got okay. to say, all right, read that for me. Which sentence has the information about the story setting? Good. Now, setting means where it happened. Then you read the first one and you say yes or no. Number A. There was once a shepherd boy who was bored. Is that yes or no? No. That's no. Good. 
Next one. To amuse himself, he sang. That's that yes. Even, well, no, it wants to know the setting where it took place. So is that right? Does it tell us where? Does it tell us where? No, it doesn't the first tell us sentence, where. this first sentence is actually yes. No. Both sentences are yes from this. No, both sentences are no because they don't tell us about the setting where it happened. They don't oh, tell us happened. where it happened. So what about the next one? He sat on the hillside watching the sheep. Does that tell us where it happened? Yeah. On the hillside. So it could be that one. And what about the last one? He was playing with his friends in the woods. Could yes. it be that one? Yeah. Now, that one tells us in the woods, but there's no way in the story that he was playing with his friends. Was he playing with friends? So he wasn't uh, playing with friends. So that one also has to be a no. So the right so answer is C. Good. You want to do another one for us? No, thank you. Okay. Well, well done. You did that beautifully. Who would like to do our next one? Who would like to do our next one? Okay, yeah, unmuted me. So who is that? Um, should we try a blessing? Blessing? I'm, I'm unmuting you, but you, okay. So blessing, you're going to do this one for us, hey? Okay, man. Hello, Blessing. So first read this, this number two at the top. Who is the main character in the story? Okay, now read the answers and then let's choose. The shepherd boy's master. Is, is that no. the main character? No. no. Good. Go, go on. <laughs> The villagers, the villagers. Mm -hmm. Is that no. yes or no? Good. No. Good. Next one. No. The shepherd boy. It the shepherd been, boy. No. Been, it might have been the shepherd boy. It might have been. And was it the wolf? Yes. Do you think it was the wolf that was the main character? I think it was the shepherd boy. Don't you think so? Because he was the one that kept saying, wolf, wolf, making the villagers come. The story was about him, I think. Well, well done, Blessing. Thank you very much for um, talking. Okay. Right, everybody, so that is our uh, how the homework was. Now we're going to go on to our lesson about tenses. You know about tenses, right? So let's just go over tenses. Uh, there's Hadia. Hello, Hadia. Okay, so look at this. Look at this line. That tells us that there's a present tense, a past tense, and a future tense. You know that part, eh? Hey? The, the past tense is always yesterday or present tense could be today and the future tense could be tomorrow. Right. And they're all said in different ways. So that's what our tenses is about today. The past, the present and the future tense. Okay. You got it? Good. So now I'm going to put up some sentences, some words, and I want some brave children to volunteer to make sentences with those words. Okay, in the past, the present, or the future tense. So let me show you what I mean. Right, so there's our four words, sit, shout, grin, cry. And our words, and I, I want you to make sentences with those words. So I want you to make one in the past tense, starting with yesterday, one in the present tense, starting with today, and one in the future tense, starting with tomorrow. 
All right, let's just put up the hands. Right. Um, so, uh, shall I choose? Now, I'm going to choose. Um, yesterday, I kept saying your name wrong. I'm going, is it Hadja? Hadja. Hadja. Okay, Hadja. Hello. Hello. Yes. Right. So, which word are you going to start with? Sit. Sit. You're starting with sit, and but you're going yes. to say yesterday. And today and tomorrow. So, so how do you say yesterday? I sat on the chair. Something like that. Today, yes. I am I sitting, am sitting on, on the chair. The bridge. On the bridge. Tomorrow, I will sit on the bridge. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Do you want to try one more word? Yes. Which one? Uh, shout. Shout, okay. Mm. Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, <laughs> she shout. She, she shout. At shouted, shouted. She shouted at uh, at her friend. Okay, good. Today, today, she shouted at her friend. She shouts. She shouts. shouts. She shouts with a son in shouts at her friend. Okay. Tomorrow she will shout at her friend. Okay, good. I hope someone tells her it's not nice to shout, hey? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kadja. Thank you. <clears throat> now I'm going to see who else. Uh, Zukanya, Zukanya, would you like to um to do a word, some sentences? Hey, Zukanya. Right, Zukanya is not. Okay, Koliswa. Koliswa. All right, let's try Chevelle. Right, Chevelle. Hello, Chevelle. Are you going to choose one of the, the other two words? Grin. Do you want to choose grin? No. I would like to choose cry. Cry, okay. Cry. Today, I took the walk. Cried. My, my sister cried for food. Good. Okay. Today, my sister cried for food. She cries for food. Okay. With a sun end. And tomorrow. Tomorrow, she will cry for food. That's very good. Well done. Are you sure you don't want to do grin? I don't know what that means. So grin means smile. Remember the oh. boy grinned? Grinned. It's like a smile. Okay. So, all right. Yesterday. Yes. Today, I grinned. Good. I grinned at, to the picture. At my friend. At my friend. I grinned yeah. at my friend. Okay. Today. Today, I grinned. Good. Grinned. I grin at my friend. You could also say, I am grinning at my friend. Good. And tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I will grin at my that, friend. That's so good. I'm clapping for you. Excellent. Well done. All right. So let's go on. Now, you know, we've been reading the story about the... Um, the boy that cried wolf. So here are three sentences about from the story. 
would anybody like to change these into the future tense? Into the future tense. These are all in the past tense. Would anyone like to change those into the future tense? I'm going to try Lean. I see Lean's hand is up. Uh, where's Lean now? Okay, Lean doesn't. Okay, Lean, you unmuted. Hello, Lean. Hi. So, Lean, um, are you going to change these into the future tense for me? Right. So, what the first one? What will the first? Tomorrow, we start with tomorrow. Uh, yes, tomorrow the villagers. Tomorrow, tomorrow the villagers came running no, up. They, they will come because it's tomorrow. They, they, they will. They will come running up the hill to help the boy drive the wolf away. Yes, very good. Do you want to do the next one? They found no wolf, starting with tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow, okay. they will find no wolf. We'll find. We'll find. We'll find no wolf. Very good. Very good. And the last one, the boy laughed at the sight of the angry faces. The boy laughed at the... No, wait. Start with tomorrow. Tomorrow, the boy will laugh. At the side of love, the ang angry of their angry faces. Very good, excellent, well done. Thank you. Well, well done. Okay, so that was tenses, and thank you to those brave children that answered so beautifully. I love that. Now, what we're going to do for our, the last part of our lesson is we're going to read our exciting story again, but I would like you to read. So I'm going to ask a different person to read on every page. So put up your hands if you'd like to read, and then I'm going to unmute you. And then when we get to the page, I'll call out your name. Okay, so I'm going to unmute Koliswa. Okay, Koliswa. And I'm going to unmute Hadia. And I am going to unmute Chevelle. A long day of traveling with an animal. It's really important that we get that first breath. And, and I'm going to unmute um, Kogamot. Okay. Right, we're going to start mm. with, I'm going to start with Kaliswa. Kaliswa. Right. Yeah, you're going yes. to read the first page here, the boy who cried wolf. Right, Kaliswa. Okay. There once was a shepherd boy who had who was bored. He sat on the hillside watching the, the village sheep. Excellent reading. Well done. Now we'll have Hadia with the next page. Okay. To amaze himself, he took a great breath and sang out, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is chasing the sheep. Hadi, I loved your expression. You're welcome. Fantastic. Fantastic. And now we're going to have Prisha. Let's see if I can unmute Prisha. No. Yes. Priyasha. Let's go on to the next page. Right, Priyasha. Priyasha. Hello. Are you there? Okay. Can't hear Priyasha. So I'm going to go back to Hadia. Hadia. Okay. The villagers came running up the hill to help the boy drive the wolf away. But when they arrived at the top of the hill, they found no wolf. The boy laughed at the sight of their angry face. The 
don't cry, wolf, shepherd boy, said the village. When, when there is no wolf, they went grumbling back down the hill. Oh, that's beautiful reading. That's beautiful reading. Right, I'm going to try. I'm going to leave you online in case you can't hear one of our others, okay? okay. And I'm going to try Mandla. Mandla. Okay, Mandla. Sorry. Hello. Right, later. Then? Later. The boy. Later, the boy sang out again, wolf, wolf. The wolf is chasing the sheep to his naughty, naughty, delighted. He watched the villages run up the hill to help him drive the, the wolf away when Very good. the villages saw no wolf they sternly said sternly said save your frightened. frightened song for when there is really something wrong wrong don't cry wolf when there is no wolf but the boy just grinned and watched them go crumbling down the hill once more wow that's very good reading thank you so much well done. I'm going to try Priyasha. I'm going to try Priyasha now. Priyasha. Oh, I'm going to try Bliss. Oh, Priyasha's can. Priyasha. So you're going to do the next one, hey? Right. There we go. Later. Later. Yes. Later, he, he saw a real wolf prowling about his flock. Alarmed, he leaped to his feet and sang out as loudly as he could, wolf, wolf. But the villagers thought he was trying to fool them again. And so they didn't come. Very nice reading. The next bit. At sunset, everyone wondered why the shepherd boy hadn't returned to the village with the, their sheep. They went up the road to find the boy. They found him weeping. Very good, Pesha. What does weeping mean? <clears throat> what does weeping mean? Cry. Good. Beautiful reading. Thank you so much. That was lovely. And now we're on our last page. So I'm going to ask Blessing to read. Blessing. Are you there, Blessing? Hello. Mom, it was reading. Sorry? It was me that was reading. Oh, I thought it was Priyasha. Okay, sorry. Okay, would you like to carry on? Carry on, Blessing. Okay, ma'am. There really was a wolf here. The flock was scared, yes. scattered. Good. I cried out, wolf, why didn't you come? Good. Go and on. All an old man tried to comfort the boy as they walked back to the village. Good. We will help you look for the lost sheep in the morning, 
he said, putting his arm around the youth. Good. Nobody believes. Now, what's happened to blessing? Oh, blessing's gone. So, Lean, where's Lean's name now? I said I need. Um, yes. Okay, let's have Lean read reading from We'll Help You. Thank you, Blessing. That Lean from the middle here, We'll Help You. We'll help you, we'll help you look for the lost chief in the morning. He said, putting his arm around the, the youth. The youth, good. The youth. Nobody believes a liar, even when he is telling the truth. Right, good. The end. The end. So what lesson do you think this boy learned, Lean? What lesson did he learn? Uh... Do you think he'll carry on telling lies? No, maybe he doesn't. He will not tell lies. I think so. Thank you for your lovely reading. That was excellent. Well done. So, everybody, well done for your reading. And um, I'm going to show you what our homework is for tonight. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to do it. So... We've got a page of activities all to do with the story and tenses. So look and see if you can download that from the African Teen Geeks website and do some homework for me tonight. Okay. Right. So we're coming to the end of our lesson now, but this is what we did today. Just to remind you, you looked uh, through multiple choice questions and how to answer them. You also learned about tenses, past, present, and future, and you created sentences in the past, present, and future, and you read the story with expression. And I'm so thrilled with all the people that read so beautifully. Thank you so much for reading so beautifully online like that. So everybody, that brings us to the end. But if you would like to know how to draw a wolf, you could go to this website called Easy Drawing Tips and it's going to show you step by step how to draw a wolf's head. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? And um, I would really like to invite you to our lesson tomorrow, same time. It's a language lesson about, ten, um, it's um, a, a language lesson about, um, let me see, I put tenses there, but it's actually about answering questions in a different way. Up till now, you answered questions that the answers were in the text, but there's also a way of answering questions where you have to, you have to try and think because it's not obvious in the text. So we're gonna learn how to do that tomorrow, okay? And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for coming today. I love.